Hey guys. Awesome. Sorry I was a little late just trying to get, I swear, every Thursday night my husband is out of town. I mean, it's just, it's, it's a no fail. So anyway, I was making sure my boys were all fed. I can hear them running above me. No worries. I told them, do what you got to do, and we'd go to Dairy Queen. Um, oh, I can hear me. I'm here. If they let me finish this live without too much drama. So, hey, Arva. Hey, Kim. We're in Louisiana. We're in Kentucky. Um, oh, I can hear me. I'm here. Oh, oh, pause it. No, I don't want to pause it. I want to make the volume. let me finish. Mute it. There we go. Didn't really want to pause. That way I can see all the comments. Okay, awesome. So hopefully you guys have found me. Tonight is live. Like I am literally right here while you're right there. Uh, I'm sorry I wasn't able to do that last week. Let me tell you a little, a little story. I moved here in um, November. And that last Thursday was a opportunity for me for me to go out with some moms and honestly I hadn't had a girls night out literally since I moved here and I was like oh, I've got a live first time girls night out I've got a live so I went ahead and recorded it. I hope it's okay I've, I have done some messaging back and forth with some folks that have been doing a, a, several of these lives and a lot of people don't actually stitch it with me which is fine um, you know, you're doing it on replay. So, um, I hope that's okay. Um, but here we are tonight. I have been so looking forward to doing these cute little things. I have been so intimidated by these. Um, I've always thought they were super cute. Um, but I looked at it and I'm like, that looks complicated. Let me tell you how uncomplicated this is. And the reason I can tell you is because I had this unicorn right here. Oh my goodness. Probably eight months eight months and I um, was too intimidated to even try it. So when I realized that this would be a really fun project for us all to do, for us all to get over our fears of cubbies, um, I was like, you know, I gotta try it. I've gotta at least attempt one before I do an entire video on these guys. So I was, today I mastered, look at that, I love it. You guys, these are so simple. Like this is going to be the shortest live. I actually thought that this was going to, you know, take us a while that we were going to, you know, have to like, you know, maneuver and, and do all this kinds of stuff. And I was imagining this being a really long live. It isn't going to be, this took no time. And I 100% am adding these to my shop because it was so easy to do and such an amazing gift. Y'all look at this unicorn. Are you kidding me? Look at that preciousness. So since I had had this one, what I decided to do, because I don't ever, 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 ever plan ahead for Christmas. I was like, this I'm making for my niece. So this one tonight, I was gonna make for my nephew so that they can both have one, they're siblings. So I went ahead and tried this out and I just used this cute little scallop monogram, which I thought was adorable. Now, up higher than I thought. Um, so I'm gonna kind of work on placement with the next one. Um, I, I kind of wish it was more centered here, um, but it, that was kind of hard to, to figure out the exact placement. So again, I'll work on that, but love how it turned out. And next up is the reindeer. So you guys, they, they sell so many different ones of these. Um, will you be hooping it? I don't have fast frames, Kim asked. Um, so yes, yeah, so I actually watched other videos before tonight just to kind of prepare myself because I know obviously we're not all working with the same kind of machines. Now I did use my fast frames because I do have that ability with this machine, but you absolutely don't have to. You absolutely can do this with a single needle machine. It def definitely takes a little bit more of like maneuvering, getting all the extra fabric out of the way but they make these specifically for embroidery. So yes, you can do it with a hoop. It really is no problem. Um, it's gonna be a smaller hoop for anything that we choose to do on these for sure. It's even a smaller fast frame. Like I actually had a larger monogram and then I had to downsize it. But honestly, you know, now that I see it on her, it, her, um, it, any bigger would have looked a little silly. So even though we're so used to wanting to go big or go home, some of the things look just as good with a smaller size. I did put a picture in our um, Facebook group 
of all different kinds of things that people chose to do on this cute little guy right here. Um, some people put like their first Christmas. Some people put a name with the um, year. So that would be super cute. You know, you could put like Kelly 2021 and that could be a gift for that year. Um, so there's so many different options. Now I will tell you with a lot of the other cubbies, what people have used them for, again, monogram, super simple. To me, that's just a really good, you know, easy, smaller size thing. Um, names I've definitely seen. Now that can get a little trickier because, you know, a longer name could really take up too much space. And then the longer names are what throw me off because it's like, I had to make the font so small to get a longer name on. Now, if it was a short name like Ann, perfect. Um, but also what you see a lot with these cute little, all different kinds of animals are um, birth stats. So like it would put, you know, like Kelly Payne, born 630, 77. Yes, yeah, 77. And it'll put like the, um, the time and the date super cute birth announcement um, on these and what a great baby shower type gift or baby showers before the baby. Um, but anyway, gift for someone that's had a baby, super cute. I've actually given some things, not this in particular, but I've given a couple of items as baby shower gifts where I'll give them something blank and I'll say, now I'm gonna take that back and then put the monogram on it after the baby's born. So uh, you could do that with these. You could put all the birth stats on it. So you can give this to them at the shower, take it back. Once the baby is born, put the birth stats on it and then give it back. Super cute idea for that. Um, I was gonna pull up real quick. Um, these are from All About Blanks. That's where I get these um and there's there are other places that are wholesalers for cubbies you have to be registered to be able to um wholesale those so let me log in um now i do have a um wholesale account with all about blanks and it's a great company um if you want to do that well look you can see uh, no they're just gonna sit right there um, so let me look real quick. I'm going to tell you all the cuteness of the ones that they sell. I hope they're on here. Let's see. Now I'm not even seeing them. Hold on. Um, I hope they're still here. I'm just not looking in the right spot, I guess. I thought it used to be under kid stuff, baby items, kid stuff. I've clicked on kid stuff. Let me just write in. Okay, this is weird. Um, let me type in, where is just search? Oh, right here. Let me type in cubby. No, oh, you guys. Do they not have them anymore? Oh my goodness. That's where I bought all these. Now, I did buy every last one that they had of the reindeer. Okay, well, let's see. I can actually type this in. Um, I'm just going to go to Cubby's own website so we can talk about all the different ones that are sold. So, let's see. Do, 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 do. I guess you can get a wholesale account with them yourself. There's a spot for wholesale. The original Cubby is personalized for your special occasion. So, you can choose your favorite Cubby. So, let's see. Does it let me click on this? No. All right, we're going to get there in a second. So very, oh, another good use of these, um, are, there are Easter bunny ones, really cute Easter add-ons. There's lots of just regular teddy bears. And so I love that. Um, you know, you could use those for birth announcements all the time. Um, so let's see, what else do we have here? We have a wolf, oh, so cute. And I'm a wolf packer for NC State. So that would be cute for NC State fans. There's Aurora, which is um, similar, although she's a little different. She's got some polka dots on her, but it's another um, unicorn. I see an owl, a penguin, a lion, a giraffe. There's a couple of dragons looking things. There's Shaggy the dog. There is like a fox. There's another, um, another unicorn that's pink and purple. There's two, actually three different Easter bunnies. One that's got purpley on them. One's blue, one's gray. Another one that's mint colored and one that's pink. So those are really cool. There's a rhinoceros looking one. Actually, that's a hippo. Lumpity Lou. Cupcake is a really cute reindeer that's pink. Um, 
another gray bunny, another, there's a carrot bunny that's got carrots and bunnies on it. There's a blue check bunny. There is a doggy that's got um, lots of different polka dots. Um, star flower looks like another unicorn, but the, it's pink with a purple um, unicorn. Um, there is an orangutan, y'all. There's a lamb. So a lamb one is really cute for like baptism. So you can do like the baptismal date. Um, Oswald is a koala. There is a bear with like, looks like a superhero. So that's really cute. There is a, I don't know what you are, dragon. Uh, then there's an elephant, uh, a plain rabbit, a pug. Oh my gosh, so cute. Then there's just a regular old um, pink bear, and then there's a regular old blue bear, and then this one, which is called Starflower. I love her. A regular white bear. There is a sloth. You guys, there's a sloth. Then there is a llama, and there's a flamingo, and then just your regular old brown bear. And then these really cute big-eared animal cubbies um, they are where you can embroider, a, you know, name or birth stats on the ears. They are really, really cute. I love them. Um, there's a gray elephant, a lavender elephant, pink elephant. There is a mammoth. And then they also have loveys. So, you know, a unicorn lovey, an owl lovey, a bear lovey, a monkey lovey. Those are super cute to embroider as well. They've got a lamb one, an elephant one, a dragon one, a blue bear. They have some hand puppets, never really seen those, but different animals that are hand puppets and you could certainly embroider names on those as well. They also have hooded towels, that's really cute. And they also sell storybooks, I've never seen those, but I guess that storybook could go along with the actual cubby that you have. So super cool. Let me go back to see where you guys are at. Um, there you are to see um, a cow. Yeah, wouldn't that be awesome? Um, oh, Arvis says, I think Metro Threads has some and anyone can order. Okay, good. Yeah, I'm sure there is definitely, uh-oh, I forgot. Sorry, we just, I always forget to, I had this all set up to plug in and then I didn't. I gotta plug in my phone because it never lasts very long if I don't. Sorry, got to readjust a little hot second here. Get everything back in place. If y'all could see like the backstage of me doing any of my videos, y'all would laugh. My contraptions that I have to navigate just to get things working good. So there we go. Well, now we can see my table better anyway. Sorry guys. There's those cute little things just sitting there, ready. Perfect. All right. So yeah, there's definitely some other suppliers. Um, so I'll try to, you know, put in some links tonight um, after our video of maybe some other places that you can get them from. Because you guys, <laughs> All About Blinks has been where I bought all these from and now I'm not seeing them on there. So, oh, okay. Anyhow, um, I'm super excited about this. So until I watched a video myself, I didn't realize how simple these really were. Like I said, I thought this was going to be a long live of us just trying to like maneuver and figure things out. Nope, no ma'am. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So have you guys messed with yours yet? I don't know if you've actually like looked at yours, if you've taken it apart, if you watched any videos on your own, not sure. So easy. You guys ready? So they are all designed. These were designed specifically for embroidery and they all on the back side have a zipper. Check that out. We're just going to unzip and remove the inside. Like, are you kidding me? Look at that. How easy is that? And then to make it even easier, we remove the head as well. So now we've got this flat thing. Um, the, the nose itself I tried earlier <laughs> does not come off. But how easy is that, you guys? What a smart, just ingenious design. Like I just, I love when people really think outside of the box 
and figure out a way knowing that these are so perfect for embroidery. So now we just have this flat little guy that's super easy. And I also love that this is not like polyfill. It's not, we're not stuffing, stuffing in there. Literally, it's just balls that are, you know, perfectly sized. You just put it right back in. So there's our head filled back and then our body. Super easy, super easy. So there we go. We've got our flat piece. So we're obviously, we are limited, not limited, but what we're going to do is use that space right there on the belly. So it's not a huge area. So don't you don't have to have, you know, a huge anything to use. And like I said, I am choosing to use my um, fast frame just because fast frames are so easy if you do have a multi needle machine. But there's lots of options. I think this would be a really good option if you have, um, let's see, this is the five by five Mighty Hoop. Even smaller, one smaller might work well, but th this um, you can kind of maneuver in there for a design. Um, certainly your hoops that came with your machine uh, for your single needle, just one of the smaller size hoops, the four by four. Um, if, I'm not sure exactly you know, how the different sizes or how they're shaped for your different embroidery needs. If you're using you know, one like the Racoma, <clears throat> we can, ah, my table's falling. Um, you know, you can try out, you know, different sizes. They, these are round, so I think these always make it a little bit easier, but like here's three different sizes. That's gonna be too big. This one's actually a really good size. This is for my Rakoma, the number, so hard to see it, C. So this one's perfect. This is actually so ideal for the exact size of that belly there. Um, so I highly recommend that one. Um, you can use either tearaway or or um, sticky stabilizer. So whatever your preference is, um, either one, 100% fine because you're not going to see the back of this. So um, I really do like these round hoops. When my when I first got the Rakoma and I saw all the round hoops, I was like, what? A round hoop? What? This is annoying because I didn't feel like it gave me the same kind of field that a square hoop or a rectangular hoop did. But come to find out, the more I use it, the more I have fallen in love with circular ones because it just gives you more ability to get things in different places. Like trying to get this square Mighty Hoop, which honestly is the same, if you look at that, very same size as far as stitch area. But getting these edges up into this <laughs> made it a little more difficult. The roundness just sl slides right in. You're not having to compete with the four corners that it's just a circular area. So anyway, I found that to be way more helpful than I originally thought when I first laid eyes on, um, okay, strong magnet. So we can put these aside for when we are done and we will literally um, just get out. Let's see, I had one out earlier because I did my unicorn earlier and now I just got a finder. Um, Sometimes I start putting things away in a hurry and I don't put them back where they're supposed to be. All right, y'all give me a second. I gotta find that um, fast frame that I used. And my room is a hot mess express because I've been working hard today. Um, I'm gonna show y'all something as well, but where did I put that fast frame dog on it? Oh, put it up in the right spot. That's not normal for me. So fast frames come in a thousand different sizes if that's what you're going to use. I find that this one, at first when I got it, I was like, that's kind of an odd shape. But it really is good for kind of getting, you know, in a space and allowing it to be long so that it um, is a little bit further from the machine, but still on there really good. So I love this size. And if I was to measure... Let's see, to give you measurements exactly this, and I don't know how they, I would say, well, I don't know where, where do you measure from? Eight by six, an eight by six, and it's long. So an eight by six um, in that general direction. So that's what I'm going to use. 
So if you're watching this on replay, if you're watching this three months from now, you pick which, you know, um, frame works best for you. It might be one that comes with your machine. Y'all see my bruises? I had to get blood work done. Just my yearly physical and ugh, I bruised so bad. But if you're like, oh my gosh, Kelly, what's wrong with you? Um, and when she did, I was like, okay, I gotta have that, put that stuff on me so it, it doesn't um, bruise as bad. But anyway, it's not as bad as sometimes, but I can see it. Ah. Uh, now this bruise right here is from me running into a door. Now that's, that's all me. But anywho, um, Okay, so, uh, and definitely free reign on what you want to put on your cubby. There's so many options like we already talked about. So that's completely up to you. And hopefully you've got somebody that you can gift it to because what a cute little gift. I mean, it's, an, it's a really, really well-made um, stuffed animal. So I'm super excited that. And immediately I was like, done. These are Christmas gifts for my um, niece and nephew. I love when I can have a purpose for something and I'll be able to display these as pictures. <laughs> Um, so hopefully we can find more, but we will, um, we'll, we'll look online and, and find where we can get them and I'll post them in the group. So you can see I already used this today. That's the one I was using on my unicorn. Um, so I'm going to load my sticky stabilizer, or like I said, you can use cutaway. And if you do use cutaway, um, with your fast frames and you can just use the clips around the edges, that's completely up to you, whatever you like using. Um, uh, does anybody have any questions before we start? about anything really since we're live and I definitely want to see your finished product so when we're done whenever you complete this definitely post your pictures in the Facebook group all right real quick before we start um so having embroidery supplies is something that um, I'm kind of looking into um having um selling and um offering those to everybody so I have reached out to a company overseas to test their stabilizers. So I'm super excited about this. Um, and uh, these are all samples and I had them give me rolls of the samples to try because I said, I was like, I need to test these multiple times to decide if they're up to par for what I want to do in my embroidery. So I'm hoping, and you guys can message me here send me a message, you know, on Facebook, wherever. Um, I'm hoping to find a few folks that would be willing to test these out with me and I'll mail these to you. So not the whole role, but a part of the role so that we can test them together. I would love to find some folks that would be willing to do that. So it's not just me. Um, they did send, um, I asked for the five stabilizers, which I consider essential in my embroidery. The first one was a no-show poly mesh cutaway stabilizer. I'm not quite sure about this one. This one looks like paper versus um, no show that I use on t-shirts, but I'm gonna try it for sure. I'm gonna test that. Um, they sent um, tear away stabilizer. So that, I'm sure this one's fine. Uh, I can just kind of tell by looking at it. It looks very similar. So we've got tear away. Uh, we've got tender touch soft feasible backing. So this is like tender touch. Um, so I definitely wanna you know test that, iron it on the back of some designs. They did send water soluble stabilizer and it looks very similar to any that I've used in the past. And then the last thing was, I don't really know what this one is. This is non-woven water soluble stabilizer. And then this just says water soluble stabilizer. I don't know what the difference between that is. Um, and then this is the medium weight tear away, the tender touch soft fusible backing, the no-show poly mesh cutaway. And then this, which is packaged very oddly, is the sticky back tearaway stabilizer. I think they just cut off some pieces because they make humongous amounts of it. But this is the, you know, style rolls that I would love to be able to offer. Um, the size is perfect. So anyway, I just wanted to throw that out with you guys because you guys are my VIP and see if there's anybody that would like to test some of these with me and give me their honest opinions on them. This is the sticky. I guess they gave it in black and in white. I'm not, I don't really understand that one. So now it sounds like my kids are falling through the floor. So anyway, enough about that. I just wanted to share that with y'all. Let's do our cubby. Okay, so I am going to use sticky. Again, you can use whatever is the best fit for you. Um, 
Like I said, tear away works fine. I mean, anything would work fine because you're not gonna see that side. So I'm just gonna cut mine to size. Again, if you guys have any questions, please let me know. If you're watching this on replay, just put your questions in the comment section and I'll get back in touch with you regardless of when you watch this. So I think this is fun. I mean, I'm doing it Christmas in July because we're doing a reindeer, but in all reality, these are things you can sell year round. So birthdays, baby showers, gifts, anything. So you still definitely wanna find your center of your design. And you guys know me, I like to print out my um, designs on a brilliant so that I have the grid to work with. So I'm going to cut out my design. Like I said, I'm doing my nephew's initials. And I am just going to literally use this area that's lighter on his belly and find the center of that. So I'm just going to take my little old measuring tape, go across, dun, 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 six and a half. So I'm going to find my pins. Where are y'all hanging out behind my little stuffings? Yes, Kim, I'm looking, I, I just, I want to find a, a less, a less expensive way of, um, you know, for everyone um, to get stabilizers and such. So uh, I'm looking forward to it. Just, you know, another thing. So 315, 325. There we go. So I found the center of his little belly there. Um, and let's see here. Now I'm going to center it up and down. So I'm just putting my pins in place. So up and down would be two and a half. There we go. So now I found the exact center. So now I'm going to take my actual design and you, like I said, free reign of whatever you want to embroider on yours. Have fun with it. Doesn't have to even look like anything that I do. And it could be any color. Do you hear my kids through the, Lord. Um, perfect. I like the placement of that. Now the, the placement for this one was harder because it's all white. Um, and it did have this like little seam right here. So I wanted to get it above the seam because I thought that was going to be like where you couldn't see it underneath it. Now, again, I like it. It looks perfect, especially when she's sitting like that. But uh, I might try to do that one a little lower next time. You could sit right there, okay? Uh, but this one, since it has that lighter shade in the belly, that's really easy to center that one. So I love that. You can use, there's like a little seam um, underneath the neck that you can line up. And there's also a seam on the underside of his body. So you can lime, li lime? No, that would be a drink. Um, you know, your embroidery grid line with that. So then I'm literally just going to use that back opening, slide this in there. And this one, like I said, fits good. If you have a circular hoop, that would be awesome too. Um, and if you have a smaller, you know, like for a single needle four by four, that would work as well but you can create whatever design you want for these guys. So I love that. So I'm gonna use my notches on my fast frame to line it up and then just pin it well. Maybe, okay, there we go. So I'm gonna pin all around this. And I can, the good thing about a fast frame is I can feel the edges. So I know that we're within the boundaries. We're not gonna hit the frame. And also what I think is cute about this, you can pick whatever color for embroidery. I love that the little reindeer uh, antlers have several different colors in it. Um, one of the pictures that I showed on the Facebook group, somebody used like each one of those colors for a name. I thought that was really cute and creative. Um, you know, just do your own thing. There is no right or wrong way to do these. So I have got it pinned really well. Um, if you are doing a single needle, you'll just have to make sure that the back, that you pull it up and make sure that there's nothing underneath it because you certainly don't want to stitch it through. Um, and so you just kind of have to wiggle it and move it and you certainly can. There's a lot of give to this so you can make sure that you have it all out of the way on the bottom side. Um, if you are using a multi-needle, then you can just make sure that you slide the arm, you know, through the body right there. So it's perfect. All right. I'm just going to go with red, I think. I mean, there's purple and there's 
red and then there's like a blue but I'm just gonna stick with red because I just feel like it's Christmassy and this is Rudolph so I'm gonna do that so you want to get your little feetsies out of the way and just slide him on to your attachment here and I am going to pull up my design it's already on my USB here and then I need to get red let's see is my red red where are you I've got a couple of shades of red um so I might kind of compare my couple of shades with his nose it's definitely that red so that's easy this is um, pf703 if you um use floriani as your color um let's see here we're going to put it on. I did some maintenance with my machines today, uh, cleaned them all out. And I actually, which you guys, I never do this, but I feel really good about doing it. I replaced every single needle on all of my machines. I just did it across the board, regardless of who needed what, because I don't do it really often at all. Um, really never, unless I break a needle. So um, I felt good about doing a little bit of maintenance, oiling everything, which, you know, I oil, oil them regularly, but cleaning them out really good and putting brand new needles on everything. And then I just kind of wrote in my calendar as a mental note um, that I did the needles so I can kind of keep up with how often I change them. And, you know, I've seen someone else do this, but, you know, they keep a chart near their machine labeled like one through six or for the Recoma one through 15. And if I do have to change a needle because it broke or something, then I will mark down the date that I changed that needle just so I can kind of keep up with, you know, how long a needle has been on the machine and, you know, if I need to do it sooner, later or whatnot. But I feel good that, that we have got um, everything sharp and ready to embroider. So I'm just making sure that we're flat there and that there's nothing in the way top or bottom. Um, I did not use water soluble stabilizer on this. At first I was questioning whether I would need it, but I didn't use it and it looks absolutely fine. This is actually a thinner font than that one. So I know if I didn't need it on this, I'm certainly not gonna need it on that. You stay right there, cutie. Are you blocking the machine though? Maybe you should come over here. There we go. Okay, so let's find you. There we go. So I've got it set on my machine and I'm gonna rotate it since we are upside down. And then I'm going to find the center of my grid. Love my printouts. Yes, yes, yes. And then I'm going to trace it and just make sure that it doesn't pull on any part of it. Perfect. It did great. So now I'm gonna put it back in the middle. Sometimes I'll have a little bubble there, but everything looks good. We're going to embroider and we're going to say needle one, but I do need to pull that thread through first. I did tie it off, so now I'll pull it through. I almost forgot that, y'all. All right. Oop, stuck on me. Okay, so... We're going to set it to that. Have at it. So there we go. 14 minutes later and you guys, it's done. How easy is that? Now, if you have a more intricate design, like a birth announcement, you know, that's probably going to take 20 plus minutes. Um, just kind of depends on um, what kind of design you choose for your actual item. So... We'll let it run. What are you guys been working on? I will tell you, my Etsy shop has really like started to take off and I think it's because of the seasonal things. Well, I know it is. I'm selling a whole lot of back to school items. Um, if you did the back to school um, box with me last time, um, it, it was right on point for timing. Um, I've, I've been getting multiple orders every day for back to school shirts and dresses. So I, I'm feeling, you know, this, Probably in the past month, this is the highest um, week for me as far as sales. So I'm excited to feel like things are maybe moving up. I think it was just a weird part of the year. And maybe it's like that every year and I, maybe I forget it every year. I don't know, but 
I was definitely in uh, um, a slight panic about Etsy being slower for me than I had been used to. It's really almost impossible to compare it to last year when everyone was at home and shopping at home. And also because of the sales of masks and mask bags that I sold so many of. Um, so to compare year over year um, it is, is not... It's not a good sign of, of and it's just two different completely years, two different years that um, you really can't compare. So anyway, I'm happy to see that um, sales are moving up. Um, I hope they are for you as well. What, what things are you guys working on? Y'all leave it in the comments. I'm interested to know. Um, super excited about, yeah, you guys, I had someone buy a Christmas design today. Yes, they did. Um, it was one of my Christmas shirts. But it's obviously a mom, well, she just actually, this is interesting, this talks a lot about people that um, are return customers. She ordered last week a back to school shirt for her daughter and gave me a five star review, said it was super cute, that it was such good quality as far as the shirt and the embroidery, so that made me feel good. And then today, she placed an order, you guys, for a Thanksgiving shirt, a Valentine's Day shirt, a Christmas shirt, and then a dog shirt, which is just, you know, not seasonal. Um, but I thought, like, oh, I mean, that to me speaks volumes for, um, you know, I'll take a five-star review. I will. But to have a repeat customer come back, like, literally a day or so after they, you know, receive something, that, that says a lot. So um, that mama is on top of it. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I had a Valentine's Day order. And so that's also another reason to go ahead and just keep those listings up. You, you never know what people are looking for. And, you know, if they're just planning ahead for who knows what. Um, but, yeah, I had a Christmas order, a Thanksgiving order, a Valentine's order all today. Like, what? Yeah, I, I mean, I think people are shopping again, um, getting ready for school. Schools here, um, I'm looking at this one, and this one could probably use water soluble stabilizer. I might have to stitch this twice. It's, it's, this one didn't need it at all. I mean, they're in one stitch missing this one, but my this one is. So, note to sell, you might want um, water soluble stabilizer. The way I can um, combat that now is just stitch it twice, and I, I definitely do that um, on more than more than one item for sure. Um, what else has been going on? Um, I have been doing sales for blanks for embroidery, so if you're looking for you know different embroidery blanks, then let me know. We just submitted our very first big pre-order. Um, 3,000 plus items, so that's exciting, and um, I, ha I do have Christmas stockings listed right now. They're so cute, um, but that listing will close, that pre-order will close Saturday, so if you're interested in that, check it out. Um, if there's anything specific you're looking for in the blanks world, let me know, and I will keep looking for those different unique items. Um, but yeah, we just ordered some different clothes, some different blankets, swaddles, quilts, um, minky blankets, um, different dresses, uh, a romper. What else was in that order? Aprons, a book, lots of seersucker. Um, so I'm super excited about getting all that in. Backpacks and duffel bags and jewelry, um, those little circle jewelry things. Um, cosmetic bags, um, purses, or like, you know, clutch things. So lots of great items that are coming. So I'm super excited about that. It's got about eight minutes left. So that was going to show you the finished product before we close out. Like I said, this is such a short one. It, I just can't believe how easy these are to embroider. Now, I know that if you have a single needle, you're having to, you know, fight with it a little bit more. Making sure all that extra, you know, fabric is out of the way. You might have to do a little bit smaller, you know, hoop. Um, but they're made for both single and multi-needles. Um, so I, I know you will have success in the end. Just, 
play around with it and just try to get, you know, whatever size you can and then just maximize the space that you can, you know, to, to have a really cool end product. And I really do hope you guys will list these um, pictures of your finished products. I'm definitely going to be listing some of these in my um, shop. Because again, I think these will be good Christmas presents, but like, like this little girl, like she's cute year round, right? Like she's not just going to be a Christmas in July item. So I'm excited to see what I'll probably do is list it um, once I find the retailer again, because I'm not sure about all of, about lights now. Um, maybe I can be listed as one so that I can get it wholesale. Um, but anyway, I'm thinking out loud here. I will probably take a picture of this one and the reindeer and do some product photos with that where I have pictures of all of them that are blank that I can order. So I don't have to test them all, but I can show, you know, what one looks like and um, and then show what all the other options are. Because maybe that mama wants an orangutan, right? But I don't have an orangutan on hand to stitch out for a sample, but I can show you with this little gal, you know, ultimately what it could look like. You guys have any questions? Almost done here. I think I'm talking a lot and I realize there's six more minutes left. I guess I'm not talking enough. Um, so we don't have, um, everybody's definitely not watching live. So uh, I know you guys will be watching this on replay. So if you do have questions, then please, please, please reach out to me. I want to be a resource for you for anything that you might need. Um, so you can leave it, like I said, in the comments here or in our Facebook group or just send me a message, however works best for you. I am running it at a thousand. I mean, I always run it pretty much full speed when I can. So you guys, when you do come back to watch it for replay, give this video a thumbs up just so I know that you came and watched. Um, Hopefully you find value in doing these. Like I said, I was so excited to do this project. Um, and I, when I was trying to think of things to do for Christmas in July, this reindeer just literally was like, nee, nee, nee. The goal of doing these things, you know, with you guys is to, you know, maybe embroider something that you've been hesitant to do or never thought that you could embroider so i hope this helps because this like i said was something that used to intimidate me and now that i've done it i'm like um that is easy as all get out these will be in my shop all right we're two letters down one letter to go it's got about five more minutes i hate boring you with it just stitching but i did want to show you the finished product and I am going to, and I'll show it to you when it's done with these five minutes. And then um, I'll be putting it back on to do one more round. So I'll put the picture of my finished product in um, our Facebook group so you can see that once I'm done. But I think these are going to be cute gifts. I'm so excited about the um, unicorn. My design was like 7,000 stitches, so. I was gonna look, like if we look on um, Etsy, I don't know how people would list these. So let's see if we can find some listings that others are using. I'm gonna just write Cubby. I'm gonna write, oh, Cubby's Personalized. That would be a good one, or Cubby's Stuffed Animals. That would be a good one. So yeah, if you type in just Cubby's Personalized, um, I already see a cute little dog on there. Oh, they did like a 4th of July thing, and that's cute. Um, very cute bunny on here with the um, uh, birth stats on there. That looks super cute. Oh, there's this same little girl. I love her. And that's another birth stat one. I think that would be really cute on there. Um, this one just says the baby's name. I love it. There's the ones with the ears. There's a cute lamb. And, it, and so the tags they're using are a baby shower gift, or personalized baby gift. Um, while this one shop 
they seem to be killing it in this industry. Let's see. Yeah, they have a lot. So they have, um, let me go to their site. They're selling them for $35. They've got 11 different cubbies on their site. Um, and they're starting it all with personalized baby gifts. So that's cute because that's what somebody would be looking for. You could just put baby gift personalized. Um, they've got the reindeer, the elephant, the unicorn, the penguin, the giraffe. And all the ones that they have listed actually have the um, first stats on it. So super cute. So let's go back and look. So $35, well, that one says $30, but it has a plus sign to it, meaning, so they have one name with one line is $30, name with monogram $35, birth square is what they're calling it, $35. So let's compare some other folks and see. Um, $35, $29.99, $31.50, $35.99. Someone's selling them for $45, $49, although they don't have really any sales. That's, that's high. But it does say $49 with free shipping, but that's still a lot higher. Um, let's see. Most all of the ones I'm seeing on here listed have the birth stats on it versus like just a simple monogram, which I think is just cute. Um, there's some monogram ones. So 36, 18, <coughs> that's a random number. So that's probably somebody selling overseas when it's a random number like that. Or not, you know, not an even number. Um, 31, 50, 35. So around 35. So that's, that's a really good, like seeing how fast this is, that's a really good return. Now when you have something that takes, you know, 45 minutes to an hour to embroider, you really ought to factor that in you know, if it's something you're selling in your shop that it, you know, it could take a lot longer. Um, Deborah says she just got online. I love the unicorn. I know, isn't it too precious? Like seriously, I, I've literally had this like probably a year. I said six months earlier. I've, I've had it so long uh, and I've just been looking forward to embroidering it and it's always intimidated me. It's been sitting on my shelf of things I'll do one day. So I'm so happy to try it and to really realize these are super easy to embroider. Um, so yeah, you said your other granddaughter loves dinosaurs. I think I saw something look dragon related. Maybe they were dinosaurs. Okay, you guys, so this is done. Now, like I said, for this one, I would say next time I'll use water soluble stabilizer because I can see a lot of the thread through. Um, so I'm gonna run it back on my machine, but I'm not gonna bore you with that 14 minutes again. But super cute. I love the simplicity of just doing a monogram. And of course, his head and belly are not in there. So he's very floppy. Uh, but you can kind of get the idea of what he'll look like when we fill him back up. But super duper cuteness. I love it. And then, of course, our unicorn, which I just love as well. So this is a sibling set. Uh, I'm going to give this to my niece and to my nephew for Christmas. You guys, I already have a Christmas gift. Check, check. <sighs> that makes me feel so good. I am not a planner. I normally, like, literally December 1st, I'm trying to make a plan of what to do and still take a couple of weeks to put it in place before Christmas. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I cannot wait to see what you choose to embroider on yours. I'm going to run this bad boy back through so I can get some of those, um, you know, threads that are coming through um, covered up. It will work perfect. I know it will. And I will put the finished product on our Facebook page so you can see it. I can't wait to see yours. Uh, if you have questions, again, just message me whenever. I look forward to seeing what you're doing. And definitely give the video a thumbs up just so I know that you've watched this. Um, this is a video that is just for you guys and, and myself. So um, the thumbs up will just let me know that you've watched it and, and hopefully enjoyed making your own. So awesome. Love it. Um, we'll talk soon. Like I said, I thought this was going to be a long video because I thought these were going to be time consuming, but they are so amazingly easy and that makes me happy. So I hope you loved it and I can't wait to see what you do. Bye guys.